everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel welcome if you are new don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and let's get right into today's video before we get any further i do want to give a big thank you to bt art box for sponsoring today's video along with sending over their new x coat cat eye series nail tips i am very very excited to try these I absolutely love cat eye gel polishes and just the overall cat eye look or finish and with these nail tips I'm just super excited because you have the cat eye effect but the nails are already finished so it's basically like you're applying cat eye press-ons but you can actually apply these using gel. I was able to pick out three different shapes and colors of the cat eye. To be honest, I'm not 100% sure how many different colors or shapes they have, but I do know that for each of the colors that I'm showing, you can choose some different shapes such as short square, short almond, extra short almond, short coffin, and medium almond. They do have a variety. I don't think it really gets any longer than maybe medium or long length though. So if you are a longer nail lover, more than likely these nail tips aren't going to be for you. But I do know that a lot of people prefer the shorter length nail tips. These specific nail tips can be purchased from Amazon. They can also be purchased from the BT Art Box website. There are also kits available as well. So if you want to get the entire kit, you can choose to do that. Or you can also just purchase the individual nail tips like I'm showing here today. If you decide to purchase on the BT Art Box website, I do have an affiliate link and I do have a discount code. The discount code is nailed by Brandy and it will save you some money off your purchase. That discount code can only be used on BT Art Box though. It cannot be used on Amazon, but I'm pretty sure that these will be included in Prime Day sales. I'm not 100% sure, so do not quote me on that. But as everyone may know, if you are addicted to Amazon, if you're an Amazon shopper, Prime Days are approaching us and these tips may be on sale during those Prime Day sales. So I definitely would recommend keeping an eye out for that. These nail tips are the BTR Box 3-in-1 X-Coat Nail Tips. Of course, they're Cat Eye Series. These are very new and I love them so, so much. There are 15 different sizes and 150 nail tips in each box. Also on the website listing, you can surely find your right sizes because they show the size and dimension, which I love and appreciate. I think that's so nice when brands do that. Having the size guide so you can see from zero to size 14, being able to measure it and see if it's gonna fit you before purchasing them. I think that is super helpful and if you're wondering if these nail tips are going to fit you, I highly recommend checking that out. So for this first color here, I don't know the color name exactly. I am going to try to try my best to find this specific color and shape and link it down below in the description box for you guys. But I didn't see anywhere on the packaging the actual color, so I'm not 100% sure of the actual color name for this specific set here. But these are so beautiful. The nail tips are also amazing quality. Um, from future BT Art Box videos, reading you guys' comments, I always hear a lot of good things. I know a lot of you really love these BT Art Box nail tips. They're super quick, very easy, and beginner friendly. Um, the price kind of does differ from different ones if you just want to get their clear ones or if you want to get the painted ones, but a lot goes into play with that because, I mean, these painted ones, really all you need is the stuff to apply them to your nails. You don't really need gel polish or anything like that because the design is already on your nails. I did want to show these nails with top coat applied because of course they don't really look cat eye as is right now because they are matte but once you apply the top coat the cat eye the shiny nail the glossy nail just really shines out and shines through and you can see that beautiful cat eye reflect in these nails. I love these so much I think they are extremely beautiful. 
Like I mentioned, the quality of these nail tips are also very nice as well. When I pulled the nail tip off and kind of just put it on my finger so you can get a rough estimate of how long it looks or just the overall shape and then when I was bending it, the cuticle area of these nails, I did notice that it was a little bit thicker than I'm used to. I personally do prefer a thinner cuticle area just because you do get a more seamless look. And with these, you cannot really file them because if you do file the top, you will file off the cat eye effect. So that is one downfall for me was that the cuticle area wasn't as thin as I do like it, but I still was able to get a very nice looking realistic nail set out of these. I just thought I would mention that because normally on nail tips you do want a thinner cuticle but a thicker free edge and these nail tips all around were very thick and very sturdy. I do have to say though that the cuticle area was thinner than the free edge so really it isn't a big deal but just keep that in mind. You can always take like an e-file and file underneath the nail if necessary and that could definitely help but overall my own honest opinion I do really love these nails. I would definitely use them in the future. I'm actually having a beach weekend trip coming up and I think these nails would be something perfect where I could just throw them onto my nails very quick and easy and have my nails done for my trip. I think these are so beautiful and really you can do your nails in like 20 minutes even under sometimes like if you're doing it in a faster time or just getting better at it and all of that but these nails are super beautiful. I did just want to show a comparison between the matte and the glossy. Applying the top coat really brings a huge difference to the nails but they also look really nice matte as well so just a personal preference. These nail tips, you can also apply nail art, stickers, rhinestones, charms. You can really do anything to them. Another thing I do want to mention is that these nail tips are meant to be applied with gel. And the nail tip, you may be questioning, how am I going to be able to have that gel fully cure if the nail tip is like painted, if it's dark? When I put the nail tip on the nail stands, um, you can go back and watch if you'd like, but you're able to see the blue like sticky tack that I was using clearly through the nail tip. So the nail tips, even though they don't really look transparent or look like you can see through them, the nail tips do allow you to see through them completely. I did do a longer cure than usual just because the nail tips are not clear and it does take a little bit longer for the like light to travel through but I didn't have any issues with curing my gel cured completely fine and I was able to see that since I did apply a peel off base coat. I removed the nails afterwards and I was able to see that I didn't have any uncured gel. Everything did cure fine. So moving into a little bit of nail prep here, I went in, pushed back my cuticles, scraped up any of that dead cuticle skin. I'm now taking a buffer to remove the shine from my natural nail. I removed all of the dust with a stiff dust brush and now I'm just going in with a lint-free wipe with some rubbing alcohol to dehydrate my nails. That was really just the basics to nail prep. Of course, you can also apply a base coat as well to give a better adhesion. You can apply an actual primer, a dehydrator, but I just went in with my peel-off base coat because like I said, I will be popping these nails off because I do have more content to film. Another thing I do want to quickly mention though that I didn't have the chance to mention yet is these are the three in one soft gel system so the all of these nail tips actually have a tip primer and then the soft gel tip and then a base coat applied on top so it's that three in one so basically these nail tips already have that primer applied to them Another thing that it shows is that it fits all nail beds, even if you have curved or flatter nail beds. I don't really know for sure, I just seen that on the box, so definitely that's something you would have to try out for yourself. But for me, I feel like these nail tips fit me very nicely when I was sizing them out. I really wasn't having any issues at all. Just another thing that I did mention earlier, I did feel that the cuticle area of these nails were a little bit too thick, but again, that's just a personal preference type of thing, and I just like mine to be a little bit thinner because it does give a more seamless and like just a beautiful flawless transition, making the nail look like it's actually growing out from my natural nail. 
but really no big deal. The end result of these nails were absolutely beautiful. I did decide to go with these short square nail tips because again, I'm really loving the shorter nail length. I think I might do these when I go on my little weekend trip because I'm going to be eating a lot of crab legs and I want to have some shorter nails. That way it's a little bit easier to eat my crabs. So I think these will be very nice. They're super pretty and I just love the way they look with the glossy top coat. I think it looks so stunning. I am using the... Um, solid glue gel to apply these. This solid glue gel is not a non-stick hand solid glue gel. It is more of a in-between, a non-stick hand solid glue and a glue in a bottle. It's kind of in between that. It is still sticky but it is a little bit easier and stays in place a little bit better than a regular um, glue gel in a bottle. This video is moving along very quick here and I don't even have anything sped up. It just really shows how quick and easy these nail tips are to apply. But I went ahead, I put some of that glue gel in the nail tip, I placed it down on my natural nail. I'm used to doing longer nails so it was a little bit challenging for me just because of how short these were. But really no big deal at all. I held it in place for about 15 seconds, did a flash cure for around 15 to 30 seconds just until it stayed in place. Once I had all of the nails applied, I went ahead and did a full 60 second cure in my larger nail lamp. I did any filing to the nails. I also took a test nail to kind of show you guys that if you do file the top of the nail, you are going to remove the actual cat eye design. So keep that in mind. You don't want to file the top when you're doing filing. Just go around the free edge to make a clean, crisp, like, free edge line. And then um, another thing, because these have the base coat applied on top, you don't need to go in with any buffing. To keep it very simple and because the nails were short, I decided to just take these beautiful rose gold star stickers and put a few of these on some of the nails. I thought they matched perfectly with the nail color and I thought it just added the perfect touch to these nails. Next, I'm going in with the Reinforcement Gel Coat, and this is super helpful because when applying this, it's like a very good strengthening gel. Not only is it going to strengthen the nail tips, but it's also going to help prevent the nails from chipping. Of course, we don't want the cat eye design to chip off of the nails, so going in with this reinforcement coat before applying your top coat is really going to help make the nails last and make them look beautiful for as long as you want to wear them. So I went in with this, I applied that to all of the nails, cured for 30 seconds in the nail lamp, and then I will be applying my glossy top coat and curing that for 30 seconds as well, and then we are finished. After the top coat was cured, I'm now going in with my cuticle oil, applying that to my cuticles to nourish them, and of course, like I always say, top off the nail set, and I really love how these turned out. The camera doesn't do justice for how beautiful this cat eye effect looks. I just love these so much and I can't believe that I applied these with gel doing the gel X dupe method gel extensions and they are just so stunning to me they literally look like I just painted my natural nails I love them I also really love the length like I said I think these are gonna be the ones I'm gonna wear when I go on my little weekend trip I think they're so pretty they're just a nice length very suitable for a vacation but yet they are still eye-catching and just very beautiful overall I also just love the little stickers on the nails I think they match perfectly and just give a little extra touch to these nails 
I 100% recommend trying BT Artbox. They have so many different tips available to choose from. I will be linking some videos, more videos of other nail tips that I've tried from BT Artbox. They are very popular for their French design nail tips. I have tried those in the past, so I'll be linking some videos down below in case you want to check out some other nail styles or series that BT Artbox sells. I will also be linking all of the products I used and or mentioned down below in the description box along with my discount code. Don't forget my discount code can only be used on the actual BT Artbox website. It cannot be used on Amazon. Here are how the nails look under flash and oh my goodness, so stunning. I love these. I also love how short they are. Recently, I've been missing my long nails though. If you are missing them as well, don't worry. I'm going to be doing some long nails very soon. I just have some other short nails that I want to try and some most Gel X dupes or gel tips are shorter nails. So it's kind of hard to do long nails when most gel kits come with shorter nails. But don't worry, I'll be doing long nails soon because I really miss doing them. I really hope that you all enjoyed today's video, but as always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you all next time.